Hi guys, it's Jo here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about exfoliation. I get a lot of questions from my clients asking me how to exfoliate, what products to use, how often to exfoliate, and so on. So today I wanted to go more in depth on this topic and share some tips and techniques with you. If you're interested in learning more, please keep watching. Let's start with what is exfoliation. Exfoliation is the process of removing buildup or dead skin off of the surface of the skin. Your skin is made up of different layers and the stratum corneum is the outermost layer. The stratum corneum is mostly made up of dead skin cells that have made their way up through the different layers to the surface. Once they come to the surface, they become keratinized, kind of flat, and they're there to protect your skin from the environment, from pollution, and from UV rays. So the stratum corneum plays a very important role in the function of your skin. So why do you want to be exfoliating? Well, as you get older, the stratum corneum gets thicker and thicker. And this is because the skin cycle slows down significantly. The cells don't move up as quickly to the surface and also they don't shed off the surface as quickly. So you're going to need a little bit of help to keep your skin healthy. And this is where exfoliation comes in. My favorite way to exfoliate is to use alpha hydroxy acids. One product that I absolutely love and I exfoliate with regularly is the Cell Shock Resurfacing Water. Now this is a toner that contains 10% glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is one of the stronger acids in the alpha hydroxy family, but it is also one of the few acids that really has an anti-aging effect because it can directly stimulate the fibroblast cells and help to produce collagen. Another reason why I love glycolic acid is because glycolic acid is very effective at smoothing out skin texture, at refining the pores, and reducing fine lines and wrinkles. Results can also be seen pretty quickly. Not everyone is going to be able to use glycolic acid right off the bat, so you want to make sure that you start slow and build up a tolerance. So I'm going to show you how to use the resurfacing water next and basically what you want to do is start with clean skin that's been cleansed and is relatively dry. You're going to take a cotton round and your resurfacing water and what you're going to want to do or what I typically do is instead of going right in the middle of the cotton round, I kind of saturate the edge of it. As you can see just the edge. This helps you save product not use too much of it and you're just going to apply it do this kind of press and release motion making sure you get every area of your face it is going to tingle which is completely normal And if you get a little bit red, that is fine too. It means that the product is working. You want to take it down the neck. Okay, and also down the decollete. After you're finished applying your toner, give it about half a minute to a minute to work. Apply your finishing product and you're done. Another quick and easy way to exfoliate the skin is to use an alpha hydroxy serum. One of my favorite alpha hydroxy serums is this Perfection Booster from Swiss Lines Cell Shock Collection. And this is a 10% lactic acid booster and the formula has a low enough pH to make it an effective exfoliant. Lactic acid is naturally occurring in our bodies. It's more of a gentle acid that will not penetrate as deeply as glycolic acid. However, it does have a brightening effect on the skin and is excellent for skin that's a little bit more sensitive and cannot tolerate strong acids such as glycolic acid. So this booster is very easy to use and it can be applied once or twice a day. You're gonna obviously want to start with a clean face. You're gonna take a few drops of this Perfection Booster in the palm of your hand. And you're gonna apply it to the skin just like a serum. You will feel a little bit of a tingling sensation. I'm gonna take a couple more drops for my neck and decollete. All right, and 
then you want to wait about one to two minutes before applying your other products. Over time, this product is going to help retexturize the skin and also make it a lot smoother and brighter. So once the Perfection Booster has been on your skin for about a minute, you can go ahead and apply your finishing products and you're done. I want to quickly mention another popular method of exfoliation, which is using a scrub. Scrubs are considered a mechanical form of exfoliation because they physically buff away the dead skin using tiny sand-like particles. A scrub will have zero effect on clogged pores and collagen production, but they are a great way to prep the skin before using your AHA products. If you want a gentle yet effective scrub, there are two scrubs that I recommend from Cosmetics. One is the Detox. This is a mask and a scrub in one. If you'd like to see how to use a Detox mask, I do have a video of my nighttime skincare routine, which I will link for you now, so go ahead and check it out. Another scrub that I really love is the Glow from Cosmetics. Again, this is a scrub and a mask in one. This is more of a brightening product. I like to use this in the morning and I have used it in my morning skincare routine in my Get Ready With Me video. So I will link that for you in the description. Okay, so I think that about wraps it up with everything you need to know about exfoliation. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Also make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.